ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲೇಶದಯಾಪಾತ್ರಂ ಧೀಭಕ್ತಿಯಾದಿ ಗುಣಾರ್ಣವಂ ಯತೀಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರವಣಂ ವಂದೇ ರಮ್ಯ ಜಾತರ ಮುನಿಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾಥ ಸಂಭಾಂ ನಾಥಯಾಮುನ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಪದಾಂಬುಜಯುಗ್ಮರುಗ್ಮ ವ್ಯಾಮೋಹತಸ್ತಿತರಾಣಿ ತೃಣಾಯಮೇನೆ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೋರ್ ಭಗವತೋಸ್ಯ ದೈಕ ಸಿಂಧೋ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಚರಣೌ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ಲೋಕಾಚಾರ್ಯಾ ಗುರವೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸೂನವೇ ಸಂಸಾರ ಭೋಗಿ ಸಂದಷ್ಟ ಜೀವ ಜೀವಾತವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲೇಶಿಭಕ್ತಿಗುಣಾರ್ಣವಂ ಪ್ರವಣ ವಂದೇ ರಮ್ಯ ಜಾತರ ಮುನಿ ಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯಮಚ್ಯುತ ಪದಾಂಬುಜಯುಗ್ಮರುಗ್ಮ ವ್ಯಾಮೋಹತಸ್ತಿತರಾಣಿ ತೃಣಾಯಮೇನೆ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೋರ್ಭಗವತೋಸ್ಯ ದೈಕ ಸಿಂಧೋ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಚರಣೌ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ಅಖಿಲ ಭುವನ ಜನ್ಮಸ್ಥೇ ಮಭಂಗಾದಿ ನೀಲೆ ವಿನತ ವಿವಿಧ ಭೂತೌ ರಾತರಕ್ಷೈಕ ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ಶ್ರುತಿಶಿರಸಿ ವಿದೀಪ್ತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸೆ ಭವತು ಮಮ ಪರಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಛೇ ಮುಷೀ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಲೋಕಾಚಾರ್ಯಾಯ ಗುರವೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸೂನವೇ ಸಂಸಾರ ಭೋಗಿ ಸಂದಷ್ಟ ಜೀವ ಜೀವಾತವೇ ನಮಃ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ವಿದ್ ದಿ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಪಡಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ we are studying the <coughs> kantiyat sutra <coughs> karma gyana bhakti halile ilindavaru halukku virodhiyai pokki avattai talai katti kodukkum the previous <coughs> session we examined the exact nature of the three main paths namely karma yoga gyana yoga and bhakti yoga so here what vidyadoka acharya says is that <coughs> the ashtakshara maha mantra or the tirumantra as it is known ensures that the three yogas any of the three yogas that is followed by a spiritual aspirant or a Shri Vaishnava for that matter, he is able to attain the fruits of those paths by <coughs> repeated chanting and also by repeatedly thinking about the meanings of the Ashta Akshara Mahamantra. So, Karma Jnana Bhakti Haline ಇಳಿಂದವರ ಹಡಕ್ಕೆ ವಿರೋಧಿಯ ಪೋಕಿ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನಿ ಅಕಂಪ್ಲಿಶ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನಿಷ್ಟ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ಹೌಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೆ <clears throat> so first thing is all the impediments that occur that could occur or that exist should be done away with and also even while the construction process of construction is taking place there should not be any impediments later pidadoka acharya is going to beautifully mention ಸಂಸಾರಿ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ವಿರೋಧಿ ಶತ್ರು ಪೀಡಾದಿ ಹಳ್ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷಿತ ಅನ್ನಪಾನಾದಿ ಹಳ್ ಮುಕ್ಷೋತ್ ವಿರ ವಿರೋಧಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷಿತ ಪರಮ ಪದ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸೈರಬಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಈಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪೆಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ so as far as samsaris are concerned that is those who want to live happily in this world are concerned samsari helakke virodhi shatru peedadi when he times enemies may 
exist within the family. For example, like my man might feel his own brother is an enemy, or his brother might act like an enemy, or his children might be <laughs> turn out to be his enemies. His parents might turn out to be his enemies. We cannot predict or specifically say who will become an enemy when. And also enemies may exist outside of the family also or in the workplace or in the next house or the next road or something like that. And then we have various types of pedas. That is the Adhyatmika, Adhibhautika, Adhidevika, etc. which we have already seen. So these are the virodhis or impediments that work against the samsaris or the persons who want to lead a happy life in this world. Apayakshitam annapanadi. And what do they want? They want to live happily. They want to enjoy life. So they want to have good food and also good liquid uh, consumables like water, good milk, good water, etc. And then so many other things, so many other implements of enjoyment whatever they are, but within the framework of <coughs> dharma, as we know, which is what a righteous person will do. Mukta mumukshukkalakya virodhi samsara sammandham apekshitam paramapadakvati. If a person is really desirous of attaining moksha or salvation, <coughs> what are the impediments that come in his way? The first impediment is samsara sambandha. He is his close association with this material world. And what does he want to attain? Apayakshitam paramapada prapti. He wants to attain the supreme abode of the Lord, which is known as paramapada arvaikuta. So, <clears throat> before one attains what needs to be attained, he has to actually overcome the impediments. That is the most important aspect. Many a times it is also mentioned that as far as the spiritual field is concerned, doing away with the impediment itself is the main task. So whatever positive has to happen will automatically happen. <clears throat> so that is why it is mentioned that in the Isha Vasya Upanishad, it, it is very beautifully mentioned. Hiranmayena patrena satyasya pihitam mukham. Tattvam poshan napavranu satya dharmaya dhishtayo. So, according to Shri, the Vishishtadvaita philosophy, the Jivatma, who is subservient to the Paramatma, he is also of the nature of jnana, ananda, etc. That is bliss, knowledge, etc. But that knowledge is actually not able to manifest itself due to the karma sambandha or due to the jiva atma being under the clutches of karma. To overcome this, he has to engage in jnana yoga, bhakti yoga, karma yoga, etc by which all the virodhis will go away. So even to perform Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, there are several impediments. And those impediments will be done away with by this Ashtakshara Mahamantra. So that is the greatness of this mantra. So if it is, if there are certain impediments that are impeding the performance of Jnana Yoga or Karma Yoga, individually how it, how the Ashtakshara Mahamantra helps in ridding away the impediments is what has been mentioned in this one. Then further, Pradokacharya explains in the 21st Sutra, Prapatthile indavar hadakku swarupa jnanatte pirappitte so according to the Bhagavad Gita, the three main paths are Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. 
then the fourth path is also mentioned in the bhagavad gita where it says sarva dharmam parityajya mamekam sharanam rajam which is very beautifully commented upon by bhagavad ramanuja acharya who says give up jnana yoga give up karma yoga give up bhakti yoga but perform sharanagati that will help you attain the fruits of all the three yogas <clears throat> you will overcome all the sins that you have committed and also attain me aham tva sarva papebhya mokshayishyami mashutah and therefore you need not at all worry that i have not been able to do karma yoga i have not been able to do jnana yoga i have not been able to do karma uh, bhakti yoga so prapatti le that is why he starts this as a third as the fourth option but the final option and also the most easiest option among the four that is why in the pillar in the ಶ್ರೀವಚನ ಭೂಷಣ ಪಿಳ್ಳೆಗೋಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಲಶಕ್ತನಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಫಿಲಾಸಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಸರ್ ನೋನ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನಾಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಡಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ so prapattile idindavar helak swarupa jnanatte so when for those who are engaged in prapatti yoga how does it help how does the ashtakshara mahamantra help so for those who are engaged in prapatti yoga swarupa jnanatte prav pirappit it will generate the knowledge of one's own nature which is very 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 important so in the artha panchak also prapyasya brahmano roopam praptuscha pratyagatmanah svagnanam prapata gnanam etc already we have seen that so first i have to know who am i that is swaswarupa gnana knowledge of one's own self which is the beginning point of the spiritual life spiritual life in a sense in the spiritual journey of a jeevaatma which wants to attain liberation or moksha so the first step is swaswarupa jnanam knowledge of one's own self knowledge of the true knowledge exact knowledge precise knowledge of one's own self so how can that be attained that knowledge can be attained by the practice of the ashtakshara mahamantra so swaswarupa swarupa gyana te pirapit and then what happens kalakshepat kumbhogat kumhetuvai rukum it facilitates two most 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 important aspects that is kalakshepa and bhoga <coughs> so after the jivatma leaves the body after the individual soul leaves the body then it attains it attains moksha it goes to the divine portals of the supreme lord which is known as paramapada but until the body exists you need two important aspects that is kalakshepa and bhoga so what is kalakshepa according to shri vaishnava philosophy kalakshepa means what before we go to that first we have to analyze the word kalakshepa from the point of view of sanskrit language according to shri vaishnava philosophy it is a technical term but from the point of view of basic sanskrit language kalasya kshepa kalakshepa how to actually <coughs> utilize your time or even at the next level you can call it as do away with your time so suppose i want to attain moksha today will it happen even though i may be eligible by the grace of the supreme lord narayana i may be eligible to attain moksha 
but though i may want to do it i may want to have moksha immediately it will not happen because it is not in my hands in fact it is not in the hand of any person sense except in the hand of the supreme lord many a times we feel oh immediately i want to give up my body each person may feel when he feels miserable why am i alive we feel but we, we are not having the capability to give up our bodies at our own will <clears throat> so even in ramayana <clears throat> goddess sita she actually laments the fact that she is not able to give up her own body even though she wants to commit suicide we see in the sundara kanda in this 26 27 28 sardas so therefore until we are alive we have to kill time actually that is the literal way we mean kala kshepa means doing away with time so how do you kill time you may do it in a good way or you may do it in a bad way that is why there is a very beautiful statement in uh, sanskrit there is a beautiful saying which is known as subhashita kavya shastra vinodena kalo gachati dhimata vyasanena cha murkhana nidraya kalahena how do good people bide their time how do they spend their time kavya shastra vinodena by engaging in reading good kavyas like ramayana mahabharata bhagavata all the divya prabandhas which are kavyas which be bring to us which the divine qualities of the supreme lord and also shastras once again shastra is veda and its subsidiary text which also are leading us towards the supreme lord so good people bide their time by engaging in the study of the kavyas and shastras whereas fool, fools foolish people what do they do they engage in the indulge action they indulge in various bad things like um, gambling and many a times we see people over sleeping so they sleep for 14 hours 16 hours a day i have seen a few people like that or otherwise they engage in quarrel so vyasane na cha murkhana nidraya kalahena they indulge in corrupt practices or indulge in undesirable activities and also in tamasic activities like sleep over sleep that is sleep is of course required balanced sleep is required for each and every person and also in quarrels which they raise on some premise so that is why kalakshepa has to be done kalakshepa means what engaging ourselves in the experience of the past times of the supreme lord and then bhoga enjoyment what uh, what sort of enjoyment enjoyment is nothing but once again immersing oneself in the past times of the lord so that is what a prapanna has always to do nothing more than that so that is why in the bhagavatam it says tava katha amritam tapta jeevanam kavi bhiridikam kalma shapa huvi grananti e bhurita janma shravana mangalam shrimadapatam huvi grananti e bhurita janma very beautiful statement So that is what Manavada Mahamani explains here. Inga nannikke prapannarkke idishayya upakara vaibhavatta yaraluchay hira. So in this sutra, Manavada Mahamani explains the favors done, conferred on the prapannas by the Ashtakshara Mahamantra. Adavade keel chunna vaipole dushyaka mumai स्वरूपमिरुद्धमुमाय इरुक्कयन्निके सुशकमाय 
ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅನುರೂಪಮಾನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ್ಯುಪ ಪ್ರಪತ್ಯುಪ ಎತ್ತಿದೆಂದವರು ಹೇಳಿತ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಫಿರಾಸಿ ಕರ್ಮಯೋಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯೋಗ ಆರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಹಿಸ್ ದುಶ್ಯಕ ಮಾಯ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯೋಗ and even to a certain extent bhakti yoga also because you have to put in lot of individual efforts to realize the roots of those yogas so he says it is swarupa viruddham that means it is against one's own nature but once again that is why i said that doesn't mean that it is like engaging in some heinous crime or something like that some people actually glorify this to a great extent some scholars and as a karma it is said as they have mentioned it as swarupa viruddha so it should be totally given up one should never engage in karma yoga it's not like that so it is mentioned in the sense that it is since it is difficult to perform and since we are sense are very weak links as far as engaging in the sadhanas are concerned therefore don't worry about that so suppose a father is there and his son has to travel so suppose there is a flight to a particular place direct flight which can reach him in 2 or 3 hours will he recommend his son to go by a bicycle all the way even by riding the bicycle you can reach the destination even by going by road or car or train you can reach but what will the father say why do you worry about all those things when you can fly and reach the place within 2 hours why do you spend 2 uh, days or 1 and 1/2 days as in india to go by road or to cycle all the way or something like that so it is in that sense that we have to understand this. ಸುಶಕಮಾಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅನುರೂಪಮಾನ ಪ್ರಪತ್ಯುಪಾಯತ್ತಿಲೇವಿಂದವರ ಹೇಳುತ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವೈ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ವೈ ವುಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಸ್ ಕಾದರ್ಸ್ speak very lightly of these things based on this and say it is swarupa viruddha and they also portray it as if it is some heinous crime engaging in gyana yoga yoga karma yoga etc it's not like that avanak tara rupa mana bhagavat paratantre rupa swarupa gyana te what is swarupa gyana he says two important aspects one is ಸ್ವರೂಪಜ್ಞಾನೂಪಜ್ಞಾನೂಪ so i have to know as of now have i realized i may know but have i realized so realization is different from knowing i may know that i have so many fallacies i may have so many faults but have i realized them that is where there is a very small small, um, small dividing or very fine dividing line so what the tirumantra arthi tirumantra does is ashtakshara mahamantra does is it will inculcate in him the realization that he is subservient to the supreme lord in all respects so bhagavat paratantre roopa swarupa gnanatte vishadamaha pirapitti it inculcates such a realization in him in a very extensive manner ವಿಷದ ಮಾಹಿರಪಿತ್ 
then what is kalakshepa artha anusandhana dihadave podupokkaikum podupokkaikum hetuvai once <coughs> a person becomes subservient to the lord he realizes his subservience to the lord what will he do he will always engage in the thoughts of the past times of the supreme lord i will give a small example suppose a <coughs> lady has given birth to a child and the child is about one year or two years old or even three years old so what she does she will say oh my child is like this always he is troubling me she says always she is he is troubling me he will not let me sit even for one moment he will say with great pride that means she enjoys being troubling by being troubled by the child because it is her own child that is the first point and second point she always keeps telling whoever comes or visits her or nowadays or phone or things like that what will she do she will always be sharing what her children or child does <clears throat> though she talks about it in an accusatory manner she enjoys it and relishes it because she feels she is so much beloved to the child she is loves the child so much that always she wants to engage in the thoughts of the past times of the child so when we love somebody or even for for that matter when a man is in love with a woman he always thinks about her how she spoke how she smiled how she probably gave a rose or something etc so always he will be think about thinking about her only or if uh, similarly vice versa lady is in a woman is in love with a man she will always be thinking how my beloved how did he do this how did he do that etc so when we start loving a person we engage in thinking about his activities so similarly when a person attains swarupa jnana that is bhagavat parthantya that he, he is totally subservient to the lord automatically his time is spent kalakshepa happens his entire time is spent in repeatedly thinking 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 and actually <coughs> indulging in the thoughts of the past times of the lord so artha anusandhana dihadave podupok kohikum hetuvai so the entire time of a devoted a devotee is spent voluntarily or even many times involuntarily in the thoughts of the supreme lord and his past times and then yenakkendrum tenum paadum abudumai tirumal tirunaamam as alvar says in his divya prabandha he says yenakkennum tenum paadum abudumai so the honey that i consume the milk i consume the nectar i consume everything is nothing but the name name lord narayana narayana of the supreme lord so i don't need anything else other than relishing the name of the lord which is everything to me it is the milk it is the nectar it is the honey everything it is to me is, to me is nothing but the lord's name en gira padiye pratipadya vastu vai pole swayam bhogyam airikkayare just like the supreme lord himself he is actually extolled by the upanishads as sarva gandha sarva rasah he is of the nature of all the good odors he is of the nature of all the good rasas or tastes 
So rasa means there are two types of rasas. That is madhura, amla, ravana, kadu, kashaya, tikta, rehdaati, shadvidha. That is for the as far as the tongue is concerned. You have different six different rasas like sweet, salt, sour, astringent, etc. As far as the mind is concerned, you have navarasas. Shangara, Veera, Karuna, Adbhuta, Hasya, Bhaya, Nakaha, Bhibhat, Sarau, Draucharasaha. And I am not able to mention the precise translations. It is Shangara, Lau, Veera, that is well, well at Adbhuta. Adbhuta is once again, uh, it is totally uh, surprising, which has not occurred earlier at all, etc. etc. So, Sarva Gandha, Sarva Rasa, etc. So, in Girapadiye, Pratipat, Javastu, Epode, Swayam, Bhog, Yamai, Rikai. So, to enjoy the nature of the Lord he is the ultimate. Because he is of the you know, forms of all Rasas that can be enjoyed by the mind as well as the tongue. He is of the form of all the odors, Sarva Gandha. Because this aroma is a very, very important aspect as far as spiritual attainment is concerned. So he is of the nature of all enjoy, enjoyable aspects. And the highest or unsurpassed object of enjoyment. Therefore, he is known as Swayam Bhogya. You need not have anything else, other any other aspect to enjoy the bliss of the Lord, enjoy the beauty of the Lord, enjoy the nature of the Lord. Just as this is so beautiful, even the name of the Lord is equally beautiful. Swayam bho pratipadya vastu vaipole, swayam bho gyama irikkayale, bho gattakum hetu vayinakum. So even when a person has the realization of the Supreme Soul, just like thinking about him itself will bestow all the pleasures one can enjoy in life, even the name of the Lord is so enjoyable that he cannot, he will not aspire for anything else once he starts enjoying the name of the Lord also. So it is the cause of both Kalakshepa, that is to <coughs> do away with the time that he has, one person has to do in his life. He has no other option. But he does it blissfully. And also he enjoys the name of the Supreme Lord. So ultimately, what, what is it all mentioned? By repeated chanting of the Ashtakshara Mahamantra, when one attains Siddhi, when one accomplishes, attains accomplishment, everything that is required here and hereafter is taken care of by the one. So you need not do anything else other than, once again, do continue, continue, continue chanting. You will start enjoying it. You will attain all sorts of Divine pleasures, which are which have which are unsurpassed and which have no comparison with worldly pleasures. That is the greatness of the Ashtakshara Mahamantra, as it is mentioned here. So we go to the next sutra. Mattalam Peshinam Yindre in Girapadiye Ariyavendu Martamella Vidakpulle Umdu. Then he says how the Ashtakshara Mahamantra is the repository of all knowledge in this world. In this context, I would like to quote a small anecdote. One Swami Annangaracharya, Pratyavadi Bhankaram Annangaracharya Swami, who was very meaningfully conferred the title Jagadacharya. Once he went to Kashi, nearly 100 years back. And in those days, a person who was a scholar would be invited if he visited Kashi, which was a great seat of learning in those days, would be invited to an assembly of scholars. 
and <clears throat> there they would announce a topic without prayer notice in sanskrit it is called ashubhashan so they will at, uh, announce the topic then and there and immediately the scholar has to give a discourse on that topic for one hour or one and a half hours and then based on the discourse the scholars may ask questions they may raise objections also and then that is how they would actually test the scholarship of the person so when nandangaracharya went there he was as recognized as he was recognized as a great scholar he went there and the assembly of scholars the scholars assembled there and he was asked to sit in the designated place and they announced the topic as <clears throat> sindhu bindu that was the topic given to him sindhu bindu means a drop in an ocean so anangaracharya swami ex excellently talk about the topic and after ta talking about the topic for one hour he said it is a very simple topic that is given to me because consuming one drop of water in an ocean anybody can do it but now i want to change the topic slightly i will slightly modified as bindu sindhu how there is a notion of knowledge in a small drop so a notion in a drop that is the literal mean the topic given to him earlier was sindhu bindu so a drop in a notion after talking about it in an extensive extempore manner for one hour he changed the topic to bindu sindhu that is an ocean in a drop and then he based on the works of pidalokacharya he explained how in the pranava or the omkara the entire vedartha the entire knowledge of vedas running into several millions of pages he is encapsulated in the pranava and how as an extension of the pranava we have the ashtakshara mahamantra in which everything is all the vedic knowledge is encapsulated so all the scholars were wonder struck and then all of them together unanimously gave him the title mahamahimopadhyaya so this is the topic that he used to substantiate his title that is bindu sindhu so that is what pradhokacharya says here mattellam peshinam yengira padiye ariye vendu artham ellam idakkulle undu all that is to be known by a person in this world is encapsulated in the ashtakshara mahamantra so that is the greatness <coughs> so here he says ini gnyatavya sakarartha pratipadakatva mahira idin vaibhavattai arudichai hira mattellam peshiram yengirat endru todangi adavane nin tirivettaduttam katt mattellam peshiram yengira padiye aatmojjivanatte kudalahira அறியவேண்டும் அர்த்த விசேஷங்கள் எல்லாம் இன்பத்திற்குள்ளே உண்டென்கை சோ தென் அப்ஸ் பர்சன் மேட் क्वेश्चन சேஸ் எவ்ரிதிங் தட் இஸ் டு பீ நோ சோ ஹி இஸ் என்கேப்சுலேட்டட் இன் தி அஷ்டாக்ஷர மகாமந்திரா ஹவ் டு யூ சப்ஸ்டான்ஷியேட் இட் சம் பர்சன் மேட் ஆஸ் டஸ் இட் ஹேவ் டஸ் இட் என்கேம்ஸ் என்கேப்சுலேட் ஷேக்ஸ்பியர்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் லிட்டரேச்சர் or does it encapsulate within it aerospace engineering or he may ask do you have java or j++ language in computer language in the ashtakshara mahamantra no 
that is not the focus here. That is why Swami Manavad Mamani says, all the knowledge that is required for attaining fulfillment for this Jivatma to attain moksha is encapsulated in this Ashtakshara Mahamantra. So they are not claiming that it contains within it some theory of aerospace engineering or some theory associated with some uh, something to do with computers or something like that. Atmojivanatikku udaraha ariyavendu martha visheshan. All the things that a person needs to know for the Jivatma to attain moksha is encompassed in this mantra. Which are they? And how are they encompassed here? That is explained in the 23rd Sutra. Ada avadu anjartham ariyavendum artham illam ahirade dennum ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷೈರೇರುಡಿಚೈರಾರ್ಹಾವರಂಜರ್ಥಂಯಂದ್ರೇ ಅದಂತಿ ಸಕಲಾಸಪುರಾಣಕಾಶ್ಚ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ವೇದ ವೇದಾಂತ ವೇದಿ ವೇದ ವೇದಾರ್ಥ ವೇದಿ ಇಂಗಿರಪಡಿಯ ಸಕಲ ವೇದಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಣ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಿ ಪದ ಇವರ್ತಪಂಚಕೃತ್ಯು ಆಹ್ಯಾಣೆ ತತ್ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಮಂತ್ರತ್ಕು ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯ ಇದುವೇ ಇರೇ ಮಂತ್ರಂತಾನ್ ಪ್ರಣವತ್ತೇ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪತ್ತೆಯು ನಮಸ್ಸೆ ವಿರೋಧ್ಯುಪಾಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪಂಗಳೆಯು ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದತ್ತೇ ಪರಸ್ವರೂಪತ್ತೆಯು ಅದಿಲ್ ಚತುರ್ಥಿಯೇ ಫಲಸ್ವರೂಪತ್ತೆಯು ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಿಕ್ಕ ಕಡವದಾಯಿರೇ ಇರುಪದಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ನೋಟೆಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ aspects that one has to know and which is what all the vedas including the puranas itihasas etc focus upon <clears throat> though there are several other issues mentioned in the vedas etc the focus is on these five that is prapyasya brahmana rupa very quickly i will explain already it has been explained so i am not going to that so nature of the supreme brahman that we have to attain nature of the individual self praptushta pratyagatmana then praptyupayam the means of the jivatma attaining the paramatma phalam prapte the fruits or results that the jivatma attains once he is united with the supreme god and then tatha prapti virodhicha the impediments involved in the <coughs> individual soul attaining the supreme god so these are the five prapyasya brahmano rupam praptushta etc vadanti sakala veda ha setihasa purana ka unayascha mahatmana veda vedanta vedina so ultimately everything boils down to these five aspects and that is very beautifully summarized so if you go on extensively talking about it it will turn into several thousands or millions of pages but that is very succinctly summarized in the five these are in the ashtakshara mahamantra how is it im mantram tam pranavattare pratyagatma swarupatyam so the three <coughs> units om namo narayana so om is one unit which actually delineates the nature of the jivatma 
and Namaha, which is the second word. Namasale virod yupayangalayam swarupa virod yupaya swarupangalayam. The word namas or namaha <coughs> explains the virodhi swarupa, the nature of the impediments that can occur in the path, in the spiritual path wherein the jivatma aspires to attain the paramatma. And also the upaya, that is the means by which a yeah, jivatma can <coughs> attain the paramatma. And Narayana Padattale and the third word is Narayanaya which contains two units that is the nominal according to grammar it is the nominal stem Narayana it is known as the Pratipadika and then the dative case suffix which is known as Aya so the word Narayana explains the nature of the Supreme Lord and the suffix that is added to the word Narayana, which is the dative case suffix. Adil Chaturthiyare Parasvarupatyum Pratipadikya Kadavada Irupire Irupadi. So Pranava talks about the Divat Prasvarupa. Namaha talks about two aspects that is Upayasvarupa and Virodhisvarupa. The word Narayana talks about the Paraswarupa or the nature of the Supreme Lord and the case ending or the deity case of his Aya talks about the fruits that a person, a Jeevatma attains after his union with the Paramatma. So very, very clearly the Ashtakshara Mahamantra is analyzed, dissected and analyzed. So how that is mentioned, that is what he is going to mention in the next sutra. Purvacharyarihal idil artham arivadar kimundu tangalai pirandar hada vinaitirar hal idil artha jnanam pirandapimbe pirandapim barandilen yen kirapadiye idayodiya Verunade Kalakshe from Pandiri are held. Watch a Katrika till watch it today, wound rakadi, Ishurane, Upayo pay him in it. So the twenty fourth sutra is what I just read now that is explained in very great detail by Swami Manavana Babuji. In mantra in Im mantra Tavai Bhavate Rudite Hirar Mail Purva Jari Hillian Tutanki Adavade Matayamuna Yetivara de Hirana Nam Purva Jari Hill Andradan Pirandilain in Girapadi in mantra till Atamari Vadar Kamundu Tangalit Pirandar Hara Harinetirar Hill Ilartegyanam tangade kundana pinbe, hiran the pin marandine, yendre, alva, diviaso pil, sholo hirapadie, mantra tatayoria, matunal, kalakhe, pumpani, a yar, herring in gay, verasha strangle, alva, a rudit tail held, yvetrar, yvetral, poor poor. Vetral poor the poor cum bodum, mantra tate ulkunde and a sandikiare. Ideori away on man, karakshe from Paniria, Hellion net at Tilday. So, one very important and beautiful <coughs> aspect is mentioned here. Urva chari, it is a tamariva del Kimundu. So there is a very beautiful statement by Swami Namalva who says, Andrinam Pirandine Pirandapin Marandile, which is very beautifully explained in the commentaries of Tiruvayamuri. I will just mention about the summary of the <coughs> verse. So until a person realizes something 
he will not lament what he has lost. I will give a very, very mundane example. So now I am working in a job which fetches me $100 per month. I am giving a very mundane example, don't mistake me. I am doing it because the <coughs> analogy is easily understandable. So then I meet a person and he says, oh, you are very talented. So I will pay you $10,000 per month. Why don't you work with me? So then I start working with that person and I earn $10,000 per month. In the place of $100 I was earning per month in the, in the earlier place. And suppose I get very close to my boss and he appreciates my work. He would say, oh, last many years you wasted your time working for just a small pittance of $100 per month. If you would have joined me earlier, I would have paid you $10,000 per month, per month for the last five years. What will I think about myself? I will say, oh, you, I wasted my time, I wasted, oh, I wasted a lot of my time earning or spending so much of time for a pittance. So, this is true in a totally different context with regard to the realization of the Supreme Lord. So, Swami Nammadwar says, before I realize supreme, the greatness of the supreme, supreme Lord, it was as if that I was unborn. Andranan Pirandine. It was as if I was not born at all because even though I was born, all the time I spent without the realization of the Lord is a total waste of time that I, I committed. But once I realize the greatness of the Lord, then I have no regrets. So this is the purport or summary of the expression of the Mandva which says Andranam Pirandinam Pirandapin Marandinam so here Pradokacharya says, Purva Jari Hill, it is Artha Marivadar Kimundu, Tangalai Pirandar Hada Aminit Pirar Hill, it is Artha Gnanam Pirandapin Bay, Pirandapin Parandine, Ninjirapadia, Itayoria, Verumal, Karke, Pumpanaria. All the Purva Charya, he says, Ravadi, Mataya Muna Yetivara, the Ravadi, and Purva Charya. All the Purvacharyas, especially Nathapani, Yamanamuni, and Ramanamuni. It is Nathapani, Yamanacharya, and Ramanjacharya, etc. They did not consider themselves as privileged persons or as fulfilled persons until they came to know about the <coughs> knowledge of the meaning of the Ashtachara. So they regretted their lives or the happenings in their lives, the time they spent in their lives before realizing the meaning of the Ashtakshara Mahatma. And then Pirandapin Marandine. Once they realized the greatness of the Supreme Lord through the Ashtakshara Mahatma, then what happened? They spent their entire time, entire lifetime, remaining entire lifetime with nothing other than the Astrachara Mahamantra. So that is the greatness of the Astrachara Mahamantra and also the greatness of our Purvacharyas who spent their entire, entire lifetime after realization in the Anusandhana of the Astrachara Mahamantra. Here, Padavana Mahamani had asked a small question. Then, does it, it mentions in other places that Ramananda Acharya and others were engaged in thinking about the Vedas, Upanishads, etc. And they were thinking about the Shri Suktis or the compositions of the Alvars. But here it is being mentioned that they always spent their time in the Ashtakshara Mahamantra only. How to reconcile these two? 
views. Then he says, Viranda pinnarandi, the Lartagnam, Tangalakum, Dana Pinde, Viranda pinnarandi, and Yimbra Ardwar, she so deal should do Hirapadi, Im Mantra, Tatayoria, Matunal, Kalakshapam, Paniriar Hill, Yngay, Veda Shastrangal, Ardwar, Rudichel Hill, Yvetal, Podapok, Kumpodum. Mantra Tatay Ulkonde, Ire, Anusundi Kayade, Ide Uri Averuna, Kadak Shapam Paniri Arhil, in Natatilai. There is no contradiction between these two statements. One statement is they always engaged in nothing other than the continuous contemplation of the mantra of the Ashtakshara. And the meaning of the Ashtakshara Mahamantra. Another statement is they are always engaged in, in the pastimes of the Supreme Lord in the form of Vedas, Divya Prabhupadas, etc. So, did they <coughs> spend their time engaging in the contemplation of the meanings of the Vedas and Divya Prabhupadas, or did they do it with regard to Ashtakshara Mahamantra? Both are the same. Because ultimately, what do the Vedas and Divya Prabhupadas say? They also say nothing other than the, that the individual soul is subservient to the Supreme Lord and he talks about the greatness of the Supreme Lord, the <coughs> unalloyed bliss a person enjoys when he enjoys against the Supreme Lord and the great, great compassion the Supreme Lord has for us. So these are the meanings that are expounded by the Ashtakshara Mahamantra also. So the meaning of the Ashtakshara Mahamantra is what is mentioned in the Shastras and the Divya Prabhantas. And what is mentioned in the Shastras and Divya Prabhantas is what is mentioned in the Ashtakshara Mahamantra. So if a statement is made that they did not engage in anything else other than the meaning of the Ashtakshara Mahamantra, there is nothing contradictory. So we see that all the Arvars and Acharyas, etc., indulged in <coughs> continuous contemplation of the meaning of the Ashtachara Mahamantra along with the mantra itself. That is also understood. Not that they gave up the mantra and engaged in the meaning of the mantra. So actually, the meaning and the mantra cannot be separated. So always they were <coughs> engaged in the Ashtakshara Mahamantra and its meanings. And even the Shastras and the Ardwar Sri Suktis are the Ardwar's compositions. They also are nothing but the expansion of the meaning of the Ashtakshara Mahamantra. So there is no contradiction between these two statements. So it can be very safely and clearly mentioned that all the Purvacharyas, once they attained realization, they engage in nothing else other than the continuous contemplation of the meaning and the mantra itself. So with these words, I conclude today's session. Any questions are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so uh, I didn't really, I, it was very nice, the, uh, the breakdown of the Astakshara Vantra, uh, according to Artha Panchigam. That yes. was, uh, that was, uh, the important part of today's lecture that I took. And uh, so I don't have any, uh, any, I understand that. So I don't have any other questions about me. So thank you very much. So we will end with the Angular Shlokam. Nachet drama nujet yesha tatura taturakshari kamavastam prapadyante jantavo hantava vishaha Unyam bhoja vikasaya papatham takshayaya cha Shrivan avirabhut bhu mauramanu jadiva karaha Tanikrita virinjari dirankushay bhutayaha Ramam japadam bhoja samashrena shalinaha <coughs>